Hello and welcome to this special In The Know Extra. I'm Colleen Nelson. Now, even if you don't follow the news, you probably already know the state of Washington is facing a serious financial shortfall. Budget cuts are affecting public services at all levels, including our schools. Now, to talk about how these budget cuts are impacting Vancouver Public Schools, we are now joined by Superintendent Dr. Steve Webb. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Webb. Pleasure to be here. Now, first of all, let me ask you what's happening in Olympia when it comes to funding K through 12 education. Sure. The 2011 legislative session is currently underway. Um, due to a $1.1 billion shortfall in this current year and a $4.6 billion shortfall forecasted in the next biennium, our governor and state legislature face some really difficult budget choices. The decisions of our elected public leaders are certain to impact Vancouver Public Schools as we develop our own financial plan. Mm -hmm. And Tell us, what is the school district doing to reduce costs for this current school year? Well, last fall, we anticipated that the state would need to make additional budget cuts in this year. We implemented uh, three austerity measures. Um, the first, we froze hiring of non-mission critical positions. Second, we limited travel. Third, we reduced non-employee related cost budgets in district and building based budgets where possible. So we anticipate that those measures will generate roughly 1 million to 1.5 million in savings for this year, which will cover roughly 50% of the shortfall that we anticipate for this school year. Depending upon the actual size of the shortfall, we may have to tap into our reserve fund balance to make up the difference or we'll have to implement some additional cost-saving measures to make up that shortfall. Now, and that is this year, looking ahead to next year, because that's just right around the corner, basically. What is the outlook for next year? As a result of state budget cuts, we anticipate, in a worst-case scenario, roughly $16 million worth of impacts to Vancouver Public Schools. The size and scope of that challenge really is dependent upon the decisions that our elected representatives make in Olympia. We're most concerned about any potential cuts to levy equalization, which is a funding mechanism that the state uses as a way of equalizing resources to property poor school districts like Vancouver Public Schools. We receive approximately $8.3 million in levy equalization funds. Translated, the loss of those funds would drive class sizes up by four students. Protecting levy equalization for property poor districts such as Vancouver Public Schools is a matter of equity and justice. Every child in Washington state deserves a high quality education regardless of zip code. Obviously you've had some very difficult decisions to make and those decisions continue ahead of you. Um, tell us a little bit about how the school district develops its budget each year. Sure. My leadership team and I are responsible for developing a budget and submitting it to the board for review, direction, and approval. Mm -hmm. So are you accepting ideas or suggestions from, uh, you know, from parents or community members? Yes, we're inviting staff, parents, and patrons to provide input re uh, regarding budget solutions to consider. Mm -hmm. They can participate in an online survey which is posted to the district's website. We're also holding meetings with employee association leaders and district advisory groups. And principals recently facilitated a series of conversation at all of our schools with faculty and with parents. It sounds like this is, you're almost, you know, a trailblazer in, in schools and in school districts here. I mean, is this something that, that goes on that's very common in other school districts around the state? Or is this something that you guys really, I mean... Well, Vancouver Public Schools takes great pride in um, its public outreach and public engagement. Mm -hmm. And frankly, the decisions that we make as a school system really ought to reflect the values and priorities of this community. These are, in fact, this community's public school system. Mm -hmm. And I know that there is now a Citizens Budget Advisory Committee, and can you tell us a little bit about what this is? Sure. Due to the expected size and scope of our budget challenge, I've convened a 10-member Citizens Budget Advisory Committee. Their charge is to examine our budget context and to prepare a set of budget solutions for me to consider. The committee members are representatives of our parents, partners, and patrons, and many of them have really diverse background and skills. 
several have skill sets as experts in financial planning for businesses, for nonprofits, and public entities. The committee's recommendations should focus on what's in the best interest of our students and the priorities of our community. What is the timeline for this committee to make its recommendations? The Citizens Committee began its work in December and will conclude its work at the end of March. My team and I will examine the committee's recommendations along with all of the other input received from all of the other stakeholder input processes. I expect to present a set of preliminary budget solutions for the board to consider at its meeting on May 3rd and a final set of solutions on May 10th. Our timeline for budget development really is contingent upon what's happening in Olympia. So if there's a delay in Olympia, it will delay our ability to present a set of recommendations to our board. And how can people in the community here stay on top of and stay informed on the, on the whole process? Sure. Well, we regularly post updates to the district's website, and that's www.vansd.org. And uh, if, the if district staff and parents and community members have concerns about education funding, um, how can they contact their legislators? You can find that information on the state legislative website. That's www.leg.wa.gov. Perfect. All right. Well, Dr. Webb, I want to thank you so much for joining us well, today. Well, Colleen, we thank you. It's great to see you again. All right. Thank you. And as the superintendent mentioned, there is a lot of helpful information on the budget right on the district website. That address is on your screen right now, www.vansd.org. Thank you so much for watching this In the Know Extra. I'm Colleen Nelson.